My name is Jack Foreman, Product Manager for Traymetrics. The goal of this video is to help you quickly set up your new Traymetrics R800 audiometer. Additional information is available from multiple sources, including the Operations Manual, the Traymetrics website, and your local Traymetrics representative. Starting from the home screen, touch the color display and go to the Daily Task screen. This screen can also be reached by touching the Tools button on the right-hand side of your screen. Next, touch the Setup tab at the bottom of your screen. The Setup display allows configuration of all RA800 functions, but for now, let's concentrate on configuring the audiometer functions by touching the audiometer in the upper left corner. A supervisor password is required. The default is setup and that can be changed later. So let's touch S E T U P and accept in the lower right hand corner. If you enter the configuration password correctly, the audiometer setup will be displayed and we can start configuration by touching test options. In the upper left hand corner of the display you can select which ear to test first. Left is the default. Next you can select the lowest level to test option. The default is minus 10, but many users select zero, which typically results in a faster test. Two options are available for test method. If continuous is checked, a one second tone or stimulus will be presented. If unchecked, then three 200 millisecond tones will be generated. The second option, use adaptive mode if checked, will automatically slow the automatic stimulus presentation if the subject or employee is having difficulty taking the test. Retry on error selection allows the RA800 audiometer to automatically re-instruct the subject on how to take the test if they are having difficulty. I recommend selecting twice. The retest criteria, again if checked, allow the audiometer to automatically retest hearing thresholds differ from the adjacent frequency by 50 dB or more, differ from the opposite ear at the same frequency by 40 dB or more, exceed 90 dB at any frequency, or 30 dB at 250 or 500 hertz, and differ from the employee's baseline if entered in the audiometer by 15 dB or more. I recommend selecting all retest options. The final test configuration is how the subject or employee ID is stored. Three nine alphanumeric formats are available without dashes, the US Social Security format, and the Canadian Social Insurance format. For this illustration, I will select the format without dashes. The Help button provides context-sensitive information about test options. Press Exit to leave this screen, and press Exit once again to leave the Test Options screen. Touching Questions and Answers will allow customization of demographic questions and answers related to the subject or employee's audiogram test. If checked, the questions and answers can be entered before, during, or after the test is complete. 15 questions and answers on two display screens can be selected and are edited. The first two questions, test type and next test date, can only be checked for selection. While the test type answers can be changed, I don't recommend it because baseline comparisons are based on these answers. The remaining 13 Q&As can be modified. Let's touch the third Q&A hours since exposure as an example. The question is, how many hours has the employee not been exposed to work-related noise? Touching answer shows two possibilities, more than 14 hours or less than 14 hours. So, for the third Q&A, there are two possible actions you can perform. One, select or not to select, and two, enter or modify both the question and the possible answers. For illustration purposes, let's select all Q&As on this screen 
and move to the second screen by touching More tab at the top and checking the first three questions and answers. Touch Answer 1 and Clear to clear the question line. The new question is about military service, so we enter military service and a question mark followed by accept. If you make a mistake, just back up and correct it. And a question mark, and then touch accept. Next, we need to select answers and highlight answer number one and edit and change that to yes. You see I forgot to press the clear button, so I'm going to press clear and then enter yes and accept. Next, I will add a no answer. Enter no and then accept. In summary, let me go ahead and close that. In summary, we entered a new question about the subject or employee's past military service with two possible answers, yes or no. Touching exit will take us out of the Q&A setup. Continuing with audiometer setup, I'm going to skip PBI method and STS categorization. Information about these two topics can be found in the operator's manual. Touching the print options button will display the four options. If checked, the hearing test will be printed when the test is completed. Of course, the test can be printed at any time from the test display. The include bar graph will add a graphical representation of the current test and baseline thresholds, while checking the subject responses will print the subject response to each tone or stimulus. Checking, including Q&A, will add the subject's demographics to the output. Touch exit to leave the print option set up. Company setup is a breeze after tackling the question and answers example. Three lines of information are available for printing on the top of each audiogram or printout. Just touch info 1, clear, and enter your first line followed by accept. Repeat for info 2 and info 3 and exit out of the company setup screen. Examiner setup is a similar process to our previous Q&A answer entry. Highlight and edit the default entry and add as many additional examiners as you need. Forgot to get rid of the default, so I'm going to back that out, put in J, J again, and accept. Now I'll add one more and accept and then exit. Setting the date is next. If the date as entered at the factory is wrong, touch clear and then re-enter the date in month, day, year format. Use four digit for the year. Press accept. It takes a little few seconds for it to enter this information, so just be patient. Time is similar, except that you have to enter the time in military or four digit format. A quick reminder 
If your current time is before noon, then you enter the time in hours and minutes. If afternoon, then you add 12 and enter it in hours and minutes format. The screen saver timeout option sets the delay before the test screen is covered. Enter the time in minutes. If zero is entered, the screen saver will not function, except to close out the window. The final configuration, user defaults, allows the user to restore the audiogram to a previous configuration as defined by your Traymetrics representative and to batch delete audiograms from your RA-800. The external configuration is the subject for future videos. Let's press exit to leave this screen. Exit again will return you to the tool setup screen where four more options are possible. The up and down arrow allow adjustments of the microphone for talk forward. The computer generated voice prompts can be adjusted with the instructions key. The internal monitor can be adjusted with speaker headphones while the talkback microphone, if connected, can be adjusted with talkback. I recommend a starting level of 60 for each. Your Traymetrics RA-800 audiometer is now set up for testing. Information is available in the operator's guide or by touching help located on the right of most screens. Additional information is also available on the Traymetrics website www.traymetrics.com or your local Traymetrics representative. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.